Okay. طيب if a person if a person pass by pass by their uh, a harmful matter right and he doesn't remove it is he sinful no huh no. okay you say which which one you're going to place it Right? So if he has it, that completes his belief. Naam. What else? Adam? Right? Where do you place that? From the mukammilat or from the completion? From the completion. Give me a, a dalil though. That's not a dalil. That's not a dalil. He said, we have a class for it. I said, that's not a dalil. <laughs> Aba Ahmed? Right? Right. Leaving the muharramat, it is it's the juz from the haqiqatul iman. Naam. What else? Naam, Pops. Right. Actions of the limbs, yes. It is from the branches of iman. Simple. To hate to get to to hate to be to go back to kufr as a person will hate to go back to as the person will hate to be thrown in a half fire. Where you place that? Perfection of Iman. Right, believing in that which Barakallah fikum in the heart. The belief in the heart it is from the branches of Al Iman. From the mukammilat, from the perfection of Al Iman, for the hadith of the Messenger alayhi salatu was salam, he men he mentioned uh min min husni is min husni min husni al Islam al Mar the from the beauty of the person's religion or belief and religion is that he abandoned that which doesn't concern him. That shows the com the beauty and the completion of that person's belief. So yep. So he he said the Shahafidahullah he mentioned. He say, well, Iman lahu arkan wa lahu shu'ab. And he say, that Iman has indeed, it has pillars and it has branches. It has pillars and it has branches. And he say, وَقَدْ بَيَّنَهَا النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فِي حَدِيثِ أو فِي حَدِيثَيْنِ He say, indeed, the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم has clarified that in two hadith. He say, بَيَّنَ أَرْكَانُ الْإِيمَانِ He has clarified the, يعني the arkan, the pillars of the Iman in the hadith of Jibreel, we, we passed that. Jibreel, in the Hadith of Jibreel, right? The Hadith of Jibreel. Tell us about the Hadith of Jibreel, uh, uh, Abu Sufyan. The Hadith of Jibreel, Muhammad. What can we derive from the Hadith of Jibreel? What are the lessons we can learn from the Hadith of Jibreel? Uh, number one, it was the Hadith of Umar ibn al-Khattab. Naam Abu Musa. What can we derive what are the lessons that we derive from the hadith of Jibril? The lessons. No, the lessons, the lessons, the 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 ibra, the, the the lesson that we can extract from that hadith. Aba Ahmed. Right, that it that hadith came to Barakallah Fiku mention about the Maratibu Islam or Maratibu Din. I'm sorry? Very good. The etiquette of the teachers and the student. Give me one of them so I can hit you with it. See the clothes, all right? <laughs> all right, so very good. There you have in it the etiquettes of the students and the, and the teachers. In that hadith, the ulama mentioned Abdul Rahman. I'm sorry? Right? Right, he defined in that hadith Al Islam, Wal Iman, Wal Ihsan. What else? Aba Munira. Very good. How the companion of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they used to be around the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Messenger used to be around them, used to be in their mix. And this is something that is very important, Barakallahu Fikum.
right? Amma the Sufi, right? The Sufi Tijari, Akhi the Subhanallah al Azim, for them to have access to their Sheikh, you gotta be in that in his house maybe for a month, depending on how much money you have. Or you wanna see him, you gotta be there for hours under the sun. And the Sheikh will never leave the house and go to the masjid because you could have catch him. But the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, look, he used to be with who? With the companion alayhi salatu ridwanullah alayhi majma'in. What else from the hadith, Muhammad? Right, the Jibril, oh no, the messenger did not know about the, the sa'ah, the time, the hour. What else from the hadith? Abdullah. Right, he came to teach them about the deen, even though he was the, he was the, the questioner. Even though he was the questioner, but he came to teach them about the religion. This shows the uslubu da'wah. Some some points of Barakallah fiqum yani methodology in, in, in calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ala kullin it's a it's a good reminder that Jazakumullah khairan as that you all mentioned. And likewise wa bayana shu'ba al iman fi hadith al iman bid'u wa sab'una shu'ba. He mentioned also in the hadith that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam clarify also that Iman, it is of 70 odd numbers branches. 70 odd numbers branches. And he say, وَهَذَا يَأْتِ إِنْشَاءَ Allah That this bi'ithnillah will come to develop it as Shaykh Fawzan Hafizahullah mentioned. He say, وَالْإِيمَانُ islam Now, an important point. He say, الْإِيمَانُ islam He say, if they are mentioned together, صَارَ لِكُلِّ وَاحِدٍ معنا. He say every one of them will have a, their particular meaning. If Iman and Islam, they are being both mentioned in the same sentence, or in the same hadith, or in the same verse, that every one of them will turn to have their own definition. Al-Iman wal-Islam, if they are together in one sentence, that every one of them will be different from the other one. Tayyip. So what we understand from this is, and he mentioned also, he say, if they are mentioned, he say, مِنْهُمَا wahda أَوْ wahida فَقَدْ دَخَلَ فِي الْآخَر He say, if now they are mentioned, only one of them is mentioned, he say, then the other one also will be inclusive to the one that is mentioned. In other words, if they are together, they are separate. If they are separate, they are together. If they are together, they are together, mentioned together. They are separate in their definition, in their meaning. But if they are, barakallah fikum, separated, now they are together. One will carry both of them. Will have the same meaning for both of them. Tayyip. So we got many, barakallah fikum, example in that. Many example of two things. When they are always mentioned, they will carry the same meaning. When they are mentioned together, they have different meaning. And when they are mentioned separate, they will have the same meaning. If they are together, they will be different. And if they are separated, they will be, they will be having the same meaning. Someone give me an example. <coughs> Muhammad. <coughs> very good. Al-Qada'u wal-Qadar. Ahsanta, very good. Al-Qada'u wal-Qadar. Now here is the tough question. What is Al-Qada? What is Al-Qadar if they are together? We went to, into detail in this and we presented the statement of Shia Uthaymin in regard to this. Uh, Adam, I think last Sunday we. Last Sunday, you know? Right? Al Qada or Al Qadar? Naam. Irfa Sautak, Shuaya, raise your voice a little bit. Unless you're scared of what you're saying. You are close. Abdullah. Qada is the actions of Allah and the actions of the slaves. Ahsanta. Al-Qada is the actions of Allah and the actions of the slaves. Al-Qada is the actions of Allah and the actions of the slaves. Al-Qadar is? The, the, the action of Allah. 
the decree that is in the lawhul mahfuz the decree that is in the lawhul mahfuz hakadha qala shaykh salih al uthaymi rahimahu al qada al qada is the actions of allah and the actions of the slaves right and al qadar is that which barakallahu fikum is prescribed in the lawhul mahfuz so when they are together they are separate when they are separate they are together another example احسنت الفقراء والمساكين الفقراء والمساكين Adam you know I'm about to ask her طيب ما الفرق بين الفقير والمسكين what's the difference between فقير and مسكين Adam please don't be polite like this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is the person, Fuqara or Fakir is a is a poor person. <coughs> Miskin that he has but he doesn't have enough. Al Fakir and Al Miskin. Which one Allah mentioned first? Inna mas sadaqatu lil fuqara. So what that shows? Huh? They are in dire need, Ahsant. They are in dire need than the miskin. So therefore the faqir, you will say that he, he, he doesn't have it. But the miskin, maybe he has a little. He can feed himself maybe lunch, but he can't provide for himself dinner. But amma the faqir, that he does not, barakallahu feekum, right? He does not have it. What else? A last example from between those two. When they are together, they are separate. When they are separate, they are together. Because I will, inshallah, turn around and ask those who didn't give me one. <coughs> no, but in that essence, right? If there is a verse that say that talks about the mu'minin it will be arm for the mu'minin and mu'minat until that there is a qarin that comes to exclude the woman or come to specify the 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 the, the, the man only you understand so that example barakallah it will be a little bit triggered so therefore when the mu'minin and mu'mina will be mentioned it is that barakallah fikum that it is to mention both male and female and here, Barakallahu Fikum, the Illa has the ulama mentioned. It is to show that there is no uh, virtue that the man can have more than the woman. Tayyip. That's why he, when he mentioned, the, as the, our brother Jazahullah Khair recited in, in, in Surah in, in Maghrib, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Dhaqirin Allah Kathiran wa Dhaqirat, showing that likewise that the woman. That they are from those who barakallahu fikum, they perform righteous action. Wasa'imina, wasa'ima, those who are fasting, the fasting male and the fasting female. So, for instance, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu. Right? Though, therefore, it will barakallahu fikum, it will encompass, it will, it will be general for both. Until that it comes now where? That there is something that will make the segregation. Meaning, to say this is only for the for the for the for the woman and or this is only for the man. Tayyip. So therefore Shah Sal al Fawzan Hafidahullah he mentioned he say well Iman wal Isa uh well Iman wal Islam and Iman and Islam if they are together that every one of them will have their own definition. And if they are separate, meaning one is only mentioned, he say Dahalafihi that the other one also will be inclusive in it. He say if it is mentioned all of them together, he they fassara al Islam bil a'mal al zahira. If they are both mentioned in one verse, if or in one hadith, if Islam and Iman are both mentioned in the same sentence, then al Islam will mean the outward actions. Al Islam will mean the outward actions, like a salah, like al yani tawaf, like slaughtering and all those actions that a person can put his eyes on so likewise he mentioned barakallahu fikum 
And he say, well, he